Uh, thank you all for coming and traveling to make it here. Uh, we're gathered to celebrate the union uh, between Sarah Beth Muse and Derek Roche House. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's right. That's correct. All right. All right. Let's start off with a little air of formality. All right. Work with me here. Uh, 2,066 miles from where these two graduated from high school. It occurs to me that Ojai, California, uh, was not the most likely destination to join these two families. Uh, however, the seeds uh, were sown some time ago. In 1957, ten-year-old Roger Muse. Uh, was on vacation with his sister in San Francisco. Four hours north of here, near Carmel on this exact same coast, they took a trip down the Cabrillo Highway, ending up on a 17-mile drive, uh, ending up on 17-mile drive, a lovely stretch of coastal road that traces the perimeter of Pebble Beach. It was on that drive that he was able to consider the uncertainties of the ocean with his eyes, with his own eyes for the first time. And he remarked to me uh, once a few years ago, when you've spent your entire life within the state of Iowa, uh, the side of the Pacific Ocean is really something. <laughs> now, as this is my first wedding service, likely my only wedding service, uh, I'll stand by my conviction that proverbs are always platitudes until you've personally experienced the truth of them. I'm not here to define love or explain the institution of marriage for you two. I'm here to talk about the value that this kind of bond holds when it's placed in hands as capable and self-aware as your own. All weddings are happy. Many marriages uh, are not. <laughs> Attending church every week doesn't make you a Christian. Just as standing in a garage doesn't make you a car. <laughs> your ring symbolizes your bond, but its endurance relies upon your courage and your truth and your imagination with each other. Oscar Wilde, bless his merry soul, said that marriage is the triumph of imagination over intelligence. <laughs> now, we didn't exactly mean it as a compliment, but the point, but the man had a point. It's about the energy with which you confront the uncertainties in your life, the strength of your collective decisions oh. to find the path that fits, that fits you both. So here you are, <laughs> with the opportunity to make decisions uh, to create meaning together, a new state, New jobs, new house, new sparkly rings, uh, new unfriendly bakeries, new Air Force bases where they filmed the right stuff. <laughs> it's whatever you want it to be. Uh, advice which doesn't help at all until 30 years later when you realize what's been important all along. It's the noise and it's the struggle along the way that creates the meaning. And the two of you get to face it together. Fortified by the small yet razor sharp slice of certainty created by that tacit something or other that lives only between two of you. So 38 years after Barb and Roger signed their vows in a small church wedding in Fort Madison, Iowa, potluck reception uh, in the basement, of course, <laughs> 16 years after Sandra and Greg tied the knot in a B&B in Bayfield, Wisconsin, mm -hmm. their children have somehow gathered us all on a sparse hillside in a town of 5,000 people on on the central California coast, four hours south of my dad's, of my father's 10-year-old introduction to the limitless concept of the ocean at a place called Meditation on the Mount. It's mildly entertaining to juxtapose the name of this lovely, lovely wedding venue with the subject lines of Sarah's various wedding-related emails, uh, Meditation on the Mount versus Wedding Crap. <laughs> It's, uh, it's textbook, Sarah Muse, just cut out the pageantry and let's get married already. <laughs> well, it's beautiful up here anyway. <laughs> Simplicity in the orange trees and the unfolding fields, uh, an ideal venue for making official such a uh, natural bond. Hmm. And with that, uh, we will go on to the vows. I fixed it. <laughs> Sarah, thanks for being my best friend and the love of my life. Whatever happens, you can always count on me to be there for you throughout life's challenges. I promise to always respect you and always support you forever. Dave, I want you to be my partner in life. We will love, trust, and honor one another equally as we both wear leg of the pants. You are and always oh. will be my best friend and we will continue to grow together. We will work together to overcome what life throws at us. 
I promise to always be honest, faithful, trustworthy, and funny. And I ask you to do the same. Love you. <laughs> That's nice. Yes. Alright, and now we will exchange the rings. Yeah, we got him. See you later. Uh, so Derek, repeat after me. With this ring, I give you my heart. With this ring, I give you my heart. I promise to respect, trust, and support you. I promise to trust, respect, and support you. I promise to try my hardest and be truthful. I promise to try my hardest and be truthful. I look forward to our lifetime of adventures and dreams. I look forward to our lifetime of adventures and dreams. <laughs> you got it wrong. There you go. I will. Sarah, repeat after me. With this ring, I give you my heart. With this ring, I give you my heart. I promise to respect, trust, and support you. I promise to respect, trust, and support you. I promise to try my hardest and be truthful. I promise to try my hardest and be truthful. I look forward to our lifetime of adventures and dreams. Look forward to our lifetime of adventures and dreams. Great. Here you go. All right. No one but uh, no one but you can declare yourselves married. You've begun it here today in speaking your vows before your families, and you'll do it again uh, and again in the days to come, standing by each other, sharing all the sweet and the bitter of life. Each tender act. Each loving word will be the declaration of what was marked here today. So begin it then with a kiss. There you go. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Thanks, do you Martha. do the now I pronounce you? How do you want to? Yeah. <laughs> Now I pronounce you man and wife. That was just for me. Okay. We can ad lib. Okay. <laughs>